it's another Sunday morning. I feel like I spent a lot today. I spent £9.22. That's more than I've spent in a long time on a, a yellow sticker haul shop from Morrison's. But we have some good stuff in here. And a lot of it will go into the freezer for next month. So first thing, and I also feel like I bought too many things that were perhaps a little bit over my price range, but we'll see. So one ready to eat avocado was 89p, now 66p. I love avocado, they don't come up very often. Um, avocado on a bagel, can't go wrong with that. I bought wraps. I sometimes buy these, they're cheap enough. I can make my own um, like uh, flatbread versions, but sometimes, this, I mean, this is just less messy and I can put these in the freezer as well. So these were £1.59 and now 48p. And I bought two of them. And you get, how many in a pack? Six, so that's 12 for less than a pound. I also bought Saver sausage rolls. Shouldn't buy these, they're, they're crap really. They were 95p, now 71. Wanna like a little nibble, a little snack, and they will also go in the freezer. I bought some um, hot and spicy chicken breast pieces. I don't often buy these anymore, these packs, because they're usually too expensive. And I probably shouldn't have bought this one. Was two pounds, now 80p. Uh, but as I've got the wraps, we could make some fun, fun wraps for tea. More mackerel. Now the last lots went in the freezer. I might keep these two out um, because I'm just in a mackerel mood, I guess. So these were even cheaper than the last lot. So these were £2.45 and these are 98p. So I bought two of those. So I may keep these ones out. Um, it says 28th of Jan, but as someone else pointed out on the comments, they will last longer than that. And I've now got three fillets already in the freezer. Also saw some more wonky apples. These were 95p down to 38, so I bought those. I have some cheese in the fridge, which was um, part of one of my Christmas gift bags, so I may have that with that. I also bought more of their savour green beans. Not massive savings, but I don't know, I just ended up buying them. Uh, were 81p, now 60p, so I bought two of those. And really short on potatoes. Not seeing any budget potatoes at the moment. Normally I'd buy a 2.5k bag. Prices vary. There haven't been many in the shops lately. So I bought these red potatoes. These were 189 and a 94. I'm not using that many potatoes at the moment, so they should last me quite a while. And the other thing I'm getting short on again is milk. I've used up all that semi-skimmed and I saw a six pinter. Now these are all £2.15 now. Uh, and this was down to £1.61. It is the semi-skim, so I'm not going to be able to double my milk on it. But um, for six pints, most of that will go in the freezer and that will see me right into February. So that's not too bad. As usual, I will put a thing up here somewhere that shows you how much I saved on the recommended retail price. So how much I've saved on the shelf price by buying yellow stickers. And I'll give you an idea of what I've actually saved. I would imagine the savings are quite high on this one because I've paid quite a lot, bought quite a lot of stuff. And some of those things have quite high prices on them. So hopefully I've made a really good saving. So now I need to get this stuff organised. Some of it's in the freezer. Some of it's in the fridge. And I think some of it's going to be in the cupboard. So Sunday morning, done. Following on from that last... That was my last yellow sticker haul of January. Cannot believe the end of the month is here. So I thought I would have a look at what's been spent this month. And gosh, I spent a lot more on food than I normally do. I don't know why, because I don't feel like I've bought a lot of stuff. So I'm having a look at my Excel spreadsheet, which is where I keep all the totals for my food. 
and it shows that if I had bought everything I bought this month at full price it would have cost me £112.96 and because I've bought almost everything on a yellow sticker and I've also bought um, some things from cashback apps where I've made money back I've actually spent £45.04 67 items I bought this month were yellow stickers and that has saved me £58.27 on the shelf price. And I've made back £9.58 in uh, cash back. So Shopmium, Checkout Smart and Green Genie. Now, I haven't eaten or used everything that I've bought this month. So what I tend to do is anything that is unopened and unused... Very often that's things that go in the freezer, that sort of stuff, or tins I haven't opened. I roll over to the next month because it's an unopened thing. And that creates um, kind of like an emergency stockpile of food because you never know when things are going to change. You never know when prices are going to change and suddenly you can't afford something. And because I only shop on yellow stickers, you, you're never sure when you're next going to get a certain thing. So you might not see potatoes for three weeks of the month. You might not see any greens, and that's why I put a lot of it in the freezer. So when I take out all the things that I haven't actually used, and I roll them onto February's budget, that leaves me an actual physical spend and a physical eat budget of £25.53 for this month. Still seems like quite a lot to me, but... My freezers are full and I have lots of different ingredients and things to work with. I could effectively say, OK, I'm not going to shop in February at all and I'll live on what's there. But if there's one thing I learned during the pandemic, it's that when products get short, people just stockpile. So I'm really, really careful to make sure I have enough in the cupboards, I have enough in the freezer because you never know when things are going to change. If the supermarkets decide that they no longer want to give out yellow stickers on XYZ or prices keep rising, and of course that means that the yellow sticker prices keep rising, and it may be that there are certain foods that I can no longer afford. Um, I no longer buy um, pork or beef mince frozen. Well, I don't buy it at all. I used to buy a bag of it frozen and it would last me a couple of months. But the price of that now is an absolute joke. It's just so expensive. So that's one thing that I've decided um, I no longer buy anymore. And I buy other things instead. I still buy chicken, but I only buy bags of frozen chicken every three or four months. So I'm really careful with how I use it. Sausages are quite cheap, so they're quite good. You can put those in almost anything. Um... What else? Uh, bacon. I buy the um, the packs of chopped up bits of bacon. I've forgotten what they're called now. And it's not it's not perfect flat rashers, but you get bacon basically. And that's really good for uh, putting in stir fries and all sorts of things like that. And it lasts for ages. I have got lots of interesting things in my fridge and my freezer. I've got lots of packets and tins in the cupboards. So if I if if I have like two months where there's nothing in the cashback apps or I don't see potatoes or broccoli or whatever it is on the shelves at discount prices for months, I will be OK. And that means that I'm never under pressure to buy the full price item because I know that, oh, there's no broccoli today. That's OK. I've got four or five different kinds of vegetables already in the freezer, and I'll just use what I have. And that's how I'm able to stick to only buying yellow stickers, because I don't allow myself to be put under pressure because I'm running out of food. So that's my end-of-month food budget. It's short and sweet. It is what it is. And I will keep rolling on those different numbers as the months go on. It means that I can see what I've got in my cupboards and my freezer at a glance by looking at the spreadsheet rather than having to, you know, scratch my way through the cupboards and take everything out and see what's there. It allows me to monitor things and it means that I always know that I'm always covered in case things change because you never know. You never know when things are going to change. So that's a good way to protect yourself against um, food shortages like we had in 2020, which were just awful. Um... I saw people stockpiling 
at full price and leaving nothing for other people that could only get to the supermarkets at the end of the day. I remember, you know, nurses coming out and not being able to get food and things and seeing people um, literally loading up the boots of their cars with toilet rolls and things. It was just, just so random. It was so strange. So I've learnt that lesson. Never again, never ever again will I allow myself to be put under pressure like that because our country can't run itself properly. Anyway, not going to get political. Um, that's that. I hope you found that interesting and useful. Yeah, that's my full spend for for this month, my actual physical spend on food. Yes, there's lots of rolled on things, but they are investments for the future. That's really important to remember when you're doing this, is that when you overbuy, when you overstock, if you can keep things longer, um, you are protecting yourself for future months where there may not be as much around. So I hope that's helpful. Thank you for watching. Bye.